Hey everybody, Homeslice Hunter here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some wild games pushing towards 2900 ELO with, of all things, a Shadow Giraffe Rig. It goes without saying, Shadow Giraffe Rig is not a Pokemon that should be used if you're looking to gain ELO. The main reason I started running it was I actually wanted to lower my ELO to get better Q times. And that worked. A couple days back, I ran it, didn't have good sets, but I was able to lower my ELO. And today when I tried it, I ended up going 6-3 and three with the Giraffe Rig to get right up close to 2900 ELO. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches. Great lead for Giratina in the first match as I lead into Chargebug. And the Chargebug is staying in, so either they're on Crunch or they're very weak to Giratina. I let it go, move sets revealed, and it's the X Scissor. They're not running Crunch, so they're just completely core broken by the Giratina lead. Deciding that staying in here with the Chargebug is their best course of action to hopefully let whatever's in back that's also weak to Giratina sweep in the endgame. X Scissor number two will get me low, but I still am not going to use a shield. I'm going to fire off my Shadow Ball. This either grabs the second shield or the knockout. They let it go, and they send in a Zoomerill. My Giratina will be able to hang on and make the Shadow Ball, but I don't want to give the Azumarill a farm down. So after this lands, I'm going to send in Shadow Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig farming up. My opponent is going to fire off the Ice Beam, and I will commit the shield. They're two off from their next move, so I'm going to go for two double kicks and win charge attack priority. This Thunderbolt will KO if they let it, and they do. In the back, it's Skeledurge, and this is what they were trying to hide from the Giratina. I build up energy, go for the Psychic Fangs, they elect to let that through, correctly realizing that I don't have enough energy for a Thunderbolt. I'm committing the shield as they go for the Disarming Voice. Can I survive one more Incinerate? Barely! I'm left at 1 HP on this Giraffe Rig. I'm gonna throw a double kick, switch into the Giratina. I transfer the Incinerate damage. The Giraffe Rig is still at one HP and now one away from the Psychic Fangs. They're at minus two. This will KO. We take the win without revealing our final Pokemon. Moving into the next match, we see another good lead for Giratina as I lead into Annihilate. But the opponent save switches into Whizcash, and this is a problem. My backline doesn't have a clear response to Whizcash, so I'm forced to stay in this matchup. My opponent will go for the Mud Bomb. I'm going to over farm and fire off the Shadow Ball when they make Mud Bomb number two. My opponent is actually not going to throw right when they get the move. Instead, they're looking to over farm. A Mud Bomb does not knock out here, so I will be able to withstand this damage, make another Shadow Ball, and hopefully get some very nice damage onto the Whizcash. The Shadow Ball connects. I realize I'm not going to make a move. I'm forced to send in the Shadow Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig, I mean, a Scald would absolutely shred me. So I will commit the shield. Opponent is going to switch into the Annihilate, and Annihilate will be met with the Psychic Fangs. This hits for massive damage. I make my next Psychic Fangs when they make it to their Night Slash but Annihilate never stood a chance trying to go for a CMP tie versus a Shadow Giraffe Rig. In the back, oh my goodness, it's Skarmory. They are not prepared. We have a coverage move for this moment. It's the Thunderbolt nearly picking up the one hit KO. Skarmory on fractional HP. Giratina is able to get the farm down and all that's left is going to be their low health Whizcash. And I have a full health Wigglytuff. They go for the Scald, they get the debuff, but it's too little, too late as Wigglytuff gets the farm down and we're able to take the win. Picking up a slightly positive lead in the next match, Giratina into Skarmory. Opponent save switches into a Shadow Sableye, and I'm going to make them regret that decision as in comes Wigglytuff. This team is ABA weak to Sableye. If they have a Sableye going up against the Giratina or the Giraffe Rig, my life would be very difficult, and here I actually stop tapping because I want to take slightly more damage. The reason being is I want to slightly limit the amount of farm that the Skarmory is going to get, but I didn't want to let them potentially make it to a power gem and flip swap. So I'm going to throw the Icy Wind at the last possible second, so they are debuffed here, but a Brave Bird is still a Brave Bird. This is going to do a lot of damage. The Brave Bird is going to connect in the back. They have Trevenant, and I'm going to send in Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig farming up quite a lot of energy. My opponent is going to fire off neutral seed bombs here, so I will commit the shield. I build up to the back-to-back -back Psychic Fangs. If they know the moveset, I'm in trouble because they're just going to no-shield the first, but they shield the first. Okay, this feels suddenly winnable. 
I'm going to fire off another Psychic Fangs. They're going to No Shield. My opponent over farms, and they play to the CMP tie. Trevenant wins CMP over a lot of things, but they do not win CMP over Giraffe Rig. And now I see a very straightforward win con. There's three stages debuffed by Psychic Fangs. I can just farm down with the Giratina. Opponent sends in the Skarmory, but Skarmory can't get the farm down before the Shadow Ball is reached. Down goes the Skarmory, and we're able to take the win. Giratina just feasting on the leads in this elo bracket as I now lead into a Shadow Venusaur. I haven't seen a Venusaur in forever. I go for the Ominous Wind Bait, but I lose CMP. The Venusaur able to go first, and that Frenzy Plant sure does not look resisted. That damage is wild. Ominous Wind Bait does get shielded by the Venusaur, and I get the Ominous Wind Boost. You absolutely love to see it. I'm not going to throw my move. I'm going to shield and look to over farm quite a bit. Opponent now going to send in Azumarill, and I get to go for a boosted Shadow Ball. This is going to do a ton of damage. Shadow Ball is going to connect. I'm farming up with the Giratina. My opponent throws on alignment. I was expecting them to throw one more, so I end up losing a ton of energy on my Giratina, which is really not ideal. I'm going to send in the Shadow Giraffe Rig, and I decide that I'm going to use the shield. I could have gone for a CMP tie with the Thunderbolt, but instead, I decide to farm basically to 100 energy, go for a slight undercharge on the Psychic Fangs, and then double kick down. So this way, I have a massive amount of energy on the Giraffe Rig. My opponent still has the Venusaur, and it's another Skeledurge. No, they were so weak, man. They were so weak. I'm now going for the Thunderbolt, as this will KO. If they shield it, though, I'm in trouble, and they shield it. I think I might have had a guaranteed way to get rid of that Skeledurge if I just went for the Triple Psychic Fangs. I end up somehow catching a Shadow Ball, but unfortunately, it's not going to matter because they make a move, and I need to double kick down to win this game. Giraffe Rig does not have enough HP, and a game that felt really winnable. Unfortunately, I misplay, and I lose. Another terrific lead. The lead luck is absolutely crazy. Leading into Annihilate, opponent safe switches into Claude's Ire, and I'm more than happy to stay in here with the Giratina. My backline does not want to deal with the Claude's Ire, whereas my Giratina can actually tank a move. So, I'm just going to be staying in here. Claude's a bit of an awkward Pokemon, but as long as I stay in, I should be in a pretty okay spot. I'm going to fire off the Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball will just KO. So, they're forced to commit a shield, and now I think I'm just going to fully sacrifice the Giratina, and then go for energy on the Shadow Giraffe Rig. This is really the only way to make Shadow Giraffe Rig work, is get it that shield or energy advantage. My opponent... They don't know the pacing on the Giraffe Rig. They don't throw their energy. I'm able to force the final shield with a Psychic Fangs. And now, you know what? I'm going for an incredibly aggressive double shield farm down play by the Giraffe Rig. I want Giraffe Rig energy to sweep this end game. So I'm going to get the full double kick farm down. They can't really send in the Annihilate. Annihilate is going to get destroyed by Psychic Fangs. What do they have? It's a Dugong. Oh, man. Dugong, this Thunderbolt is going to nearly one-shot Thunderbolt. Massive damage onto the Dugong. I can throw three and CMP, but unfortunately, my game lags by a turn, and I don't get my move. That is not great. Thankfully, Wigglytuff is just going to be able to win the game, but I should have been able to throw three and the CMP tie, but unfortunately, the one-turn lag meant that I did get KO'd there. Tough lead in the next match, Giratina into Shadow Dragonair. I'm going to save switch into the Shadow Giraffe Rig. My opponent, staying in this matchup, Psychic Fangs will connect and do quite a lot of damage. They're going to go for the Body Slam. I will commit the shield, as I do want to try and get more damage, but they're going to switch out. They send in Skarmory. The question is, do they know Shadow Giraffe Rig going for the Thunderbolt? They do, and that is a massive problem. In comes the Giratina. They have so much energy. I have to try and call a Sky Attack bait. I know Shield. It's the Brave Bird. And now I need them to let this go. If they Shield, I can't beat the Skarmory. And they Shield. They're debuffed. But I just can't charm through it with the Wigglytuff. Unfortunately, Skarmory was just too well positioned. They were able to convert the Shield Advantage into a massive energy lead. And I'm just getting 1v3'd by a Skarmory. That feels absolutely terrible. In the back, they had a Shadow for Alligator. So potentially, if I had maybe played it better, I could have had a chance. But unfortunately, I lose that game. 
We have back-to-back -back nightmare leads as I lead this time into a Vigoroth. Vigoroth double resists my entire moveset while hitting for heavy neutral damage with the Rock Slide. So I farm up a bunch of energy, wait for them to throw theirs, and hopefully my energy will be more useful later on. I send in the Giraffe Rig, I'm forced to shield, and my opponent sends in Cresselia, and this is just going from bad to worse in this game. Oh my goodness. Psychic Fangs, going to be no shielded, but honestly, that's okay. Like, they know that they're not getting knocked out by any one move, so they don't have incentive to shield. They go for the Grass Knot. Shadow Giraffe Rig, able to barely survive that one hit point left on that Giraffe Rig, but it connects with a Thunderbolt and deals some very meaningful damage. I can send in the Giratina. They're debuffed by the Psychic Fang, so Ominous Wind will be able to pick up the KO. Unfortunately, my energy goes nowhere into that Vigoroth, but then my opponent makes a mistake. They send in Sableye. Sableye has to shield here. Shadow Ball, shielded. In comes the Wigglytuff. They're gonna send back in the Vigoroth, and Vigoroth, unfortunately, had stored energy when they switched out, which means they're going to be able to make two Body Slams. I shield the first, but they make the second. That is really not ideal, as this is going to get me low. I will get the farm down, and I need to get debuffs applied onto the Sableye. So I will fire off the Icy Wind. Considering they have to take charms, they're going to be shielding everything. And the nice thing here is a foul play won't KO. They're minus one. They have to return. They go for the return. Their energy dry. It's going to be a race. Giratina versus the Sableye. The Giratina with one HP hangs on, and despite the Nightmare lead... We take the win. Decent lead in the next match. Giratina into Whizcatch. Opponent safe switches into a Shadow Alolan Sand Slash. And they're going to immediately regret that decision as in comes Shadow Giraffe Rig. Those double kicks are doing absolutely absurd damage. I will fire off the Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs does get shielded. And this right here is a good example of why you can never safe switch Alolan Sand Slash. If your opponent has any kind of a fighting fast move, you're basically just gonna get farmed down and not be able to generate any real advantage. Psychic Fangs will connect. Giraffe Rig able to withstand the mud shots and make one more Psychic Fangs. They're already debuffed. This should get them pretty low. I'm gonna try for the Charm Snipe, but I just cannot get the Charm Snipe. Unfortunately, they throw on good timing. They go for the Mud Bomb. They try for the Scald. They don't get there, and whatever they have in back did not want to see Wigglytuff. Moving into the next match, going up against fellow caster Sovtov, and we get the worst possible lead, Giratina, into Lickitung. I save switch into the Shadow Giraffe Rig. She stays in this matchup, so I'm going to stay in as well and go for the Psychic Fangs. That will connect. She's now going to send in Shadow Gligar. Shadow Gligar, unfortunately a pretty terrible matchup for the Giraffe Rig. The Psychic Fangs is going to be no shielded. She over farms near perfectly and fires off the Aerial Ace just before I make Psychic Fangs number two. That is going to knock out. I send in the Giratina. Giratina farming up quite a lot of energy, and she's going to fire off her move. It's the Aerial Ace. That's going to get me low. I go for the Ominous Wind on charge attack priority to deny any more damage, hitting the Giratina. I need Wigglytuff to clutch in a big way here. She is going to wait the timer, which is a good call. She wants to maintain the ability to switch. I send in the Wigglytuff into the Lickitung, and she's staying in this matchup, and this gives me hope. If she's staying in, she very well could be weak to the Wigglytuff in the back. The Body Slam is going to connect. I decide to shield one because if she's staying in, she's probably weak to the Wigglytuff and I'm going for the Icy Wind. Icy Wind, of course, comes with that guaranteed attack drop until she decides to switch out. She makes one final charge attack. It's debuffed, so I am going to let this through. Body Slam will connect in the back. It's Annihilate. And now this could get a bit uncomfortable as I do get countered all the way down. She leaves one off the back-to-back -back Night Slashes. I commit the shield. Can she get there? She cannot. And now it's going to be a race. Double resisted Shadow Claws versus the super effective Licks from the Lickitung. Ominous Wind fishing for the boost. No boost happens. And with one HP left on the Lickitung, she makes the Body Slam, knocking out the Giratina. So close, but we do not get the win. Hopping into the final match, we pick up a very interesting lead, Giratina Origin versus Shadow Gligar. I realized while editing that I didn't quite have enough footage and the video would have been shorter than I would have liked, so I decided to do one extra battle. Now this lead matchup is very bait dependent. I end up no shielding as I was very happy to just let the Giratina go, but I end up no shielding a bait. And that allows me to shield the next ace, make a shadow ball and guarantee either shield advantage, which could set up Giraffe Rig, or switch advantage, which could set up the Wigglytuff. 
They elect to let it go, giving me switch advantage, and now I can put the Giraffe Rig on the Dugong. Dugong makes the Icy win, but I'm going to go for the Psychic Fangs before they can debuff me. This is not going to do a ton of damage, but it's all about just getting any damage that I can before I get debuffed. Giraffe Rig is very glassy, but I can hang on despite the Icy Wind. And in the back, it's Annihilate and Switch Advantage feels so nice here as Wigglytuff can absolutely destroy. I respect the close combat. It is just going to be the Night Slash. Thankfully, they do not get the boost. And Night Slash number two is not going to be a problem. My opponent now has to try and secure a win with the Dugong. Dugong will need to overfarm very carefully if it wants a chance to win. I go for the Icy Wind Bait, I get the Shield, Dugong, over farming, and they're two away from the back-to-back. -back. Icy Wind will be able to pick up the KO, in comes the Shadow Giraffe Rig, Giraffe Rig, able to survive the Ice Shards, and get the Double Kick farm down just in time. All in all, I had a ton of fun getting to run the Shadow Giraffe Rig. This is, as I mentioned at the start, not a Pokemon that I would recommend using for climbing. The Giratina Origin plus Wigglytuff Core is very strong, but... Shadow Giraffe Rig was definitely more of just a pick for fun. As I mentioned, I started out with the goal of, you know what, I'm going to run something fun that doesn't have a lot of meta wins and hopefully lower my elo to get better queue times. And I ended up actually winning more than I lost with it. I don't recommend trying this team. This team firmly gets a do not try at home stamp, but I thought the battles were really cool. So I did want to share them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.